Vladimir Martinov has written uh, a wonderful new piece for Kronos. It's a, a cello quintet. Um, it's called Schubert Quintet Unfinished. And I asked Vladimir to write a piece for Kronos and Joan, Joan Renaud, uh, who was our cellist for, the, for 20 years, from 1978 through 1998. And basically what I wanted was something that felt really great to play, that would connect us to Schubert's great cello quintet, which to me is, might be the apex of Western concert music, at least in the 19th century. To me, to me that piece is just sort of off the charts. And, um, I think Vladimir uh, felt the same way. Now, Vladimir had written earlier, had written a piece for us, which was, he connected Kronos to the world of Mahler. And this is kind of what gave me the idea. I, I felt, well, if he could connect us with Mahler, he could connect us with Schubert as well. And I think he's done that. Um, the Schubert Quintet Unfinished um, is a magnificent piece to play. It's, uh, it's fun. First of all, I mean, uh, anybody that plays violin in a string quartet always loves the cello part. You know, it's the, the lowness of uh, the cello just kind of complements the violin so beautifully. And so having two cellos uh, complements both violins uh, beautifully, and and having um, Joan uh, return to Kronos after um, eleven years um, it is a very beautiful experience. Um, you know, I, I every time I look over at her, I'm I'm reminded of so many first rehearsals, so many world premieres, uh, relationships with. Uh, composers and performers and all sorts of very happy memories as well as several very tragic memories that we share. Um, so it, it's personally a very beautiful um, kind of reconnection to make and I think that um, this music is, uh, is just perfect really for this occasion and I'm so delighted that we're going to be able to um, play together and also to play in such a fantastic hall as Hertz Hall is. Um, I've always thought that was probably the best uh, sounding hall for Kronos in, you know, Northern California. What else is on the program for Hertz Hall this Sunday? You know, we, we have a really... Uh, wonderful concert this this Sunday. The, the music, I, I can't wait to be there, you know, just to be a part of it. Uh, we're opening the concert with uh, a very recent piece by Bryce Desner, who is the guitarist in The National. And he wrote a piece um, called Achim, which is Yiddish for homeward. And he wrote it for a concert that we played in Brooklyn at Prospect Park last summer. And I asked him to make something that would sound really good outside. And what I found is, well, first of all, he did that. I mean, I came, it sounds really good outside. Um, but if it sounds good outside, it's going to sound even better inside. And um, so now I, every composer I'm talking to, write a piece that's going to sound good outside. Well, I said the same thing to Missy Mazzoli. And we're playing her piece uh, after Bryce's. And Missy's piece uh, was premiered on the same concert as Bryce's was in Prospect Park in Brooklyn. Um, so the first half features uh, Bryce Desner, Missy Mazzoli, and Vladimir Martinov. And then the second half is um, Terry Riley's recent piece called Transylvanian Horn Courtship. And it's, um, it's a big 
piece involving instrument changes. And, you know, recently we've had a lot of costume changes with uh, a Chinese home, costume and instrument changes in a Chinese home. But now, in um, Transylvanian Horn Courtship, um, uh, Kronos is actually playing on some new instruments that Walter Katundu designed and built for us. And they are inspired by the trumpet violins, or the stro instruments, that were invented towards the end of the 19th century in Germany. And these instruments uh, have, um, well, in, in the case of John's and my instrument, there, there are uh, uh, these trumpet bells that come, come out of them. Actually, Hank's uh, viola has the same kind of bell. And then, uh, Jeff's cello has uh, what looks like the, um, um, it's like a phone for, from, from a, an Edison cylinder machine. It's, it's like the great big, um, uh, if you've ever seen the RCA dog with the, with the big uh, kind of megaphone uh, behind it, that, that's what the, the, um, uh, the cello has coming out. It looks like it's coming right out of the bridge. And um, what happens is that uh, Terry Riley imagined that the quartet, when we're playing these new instruments, had actually kind of sunk in pitch. And so the instruments are tuned very differently than our normal instruments. And so the whole quartet is much lower in sound. And so not only is the tone really different, but the, the actual timbre uh, and and the um, the level of, of pitch is, is much lower than usual, and so so it's a very bizarre kind of uh, um, piece to play. And and then the uh, the second part um, comes in, and we we take our normal instruments, and then there's some live sampling that's happening. So the um, the listeners are, are going to hear uh, Chronos kind of building on itself and and playing over the top of something that, that has just been played. And this occurs at, at uh, several strategic moments. And then we bring back the Walter Katundu Stroh-inspired instruments, and then the piece ends with our normal instruments. So it's, um, there's kind of a lot of, of shifts of timbre and color in Transylvanian horn courtship. Wonderful piece.